my name is Mary. Thank you for joining us today while we stretch and get a little stronger so our everyday activities are just a little easier to do. We're going to work with arthritis exercises today and we're going to be standing up. So you're going to want to look all around you, especially behind your chair, which by the way is a nice sturdy chair, to make sure there's nothing you're going to bang into. And we're going to be stretching up and turning a little, so you'll want to make sure there's no plants on the table or lamps that you'll knock over. We're going to be moving our feet a little at a time because this is working with joints that are a little stiff and maybe a limited range of motion. So we're going to be having a great time today and all we need is one paper plate. Before we begin this or any other exercise program, you'll want to make sure you have loose, comfortable clothes so that you can move around without any restriction. Also, you'll, because we're going to be standing up, you'll want to make sure you have good supportive footwear. Not, nothing like slippers where you'll flop out of, so just good supportive footwear. You'll want to check with your doctor, and particularly with arthritis, he'll tell you exercises you should or shouldn't do. He'll also tell you if you're on a medication that might interfere with your exercising. Also, he might say, okay, well for these exercises you can do it, but I just assume you wear a splint or some kind of um, joint protection. For you, um, you'll always listen, listen, listen to what your body's saying. So if we move around and your body's going, this is okay on this side, and we go to this side and your body goes, whoa, pay attention to that. So in addition to your doctor telling you exercises you should and shouldn't do, you'll want to listen to your own body and it will tell you, and I would always trust what my body was telling me. So we work at our own pace. If we're working really slowly, which we will be doing, and you can go faster, but you can do it safely, then you can go right ahead. And if we're working too fast for you, make sure you take a break, take a rest, because getting fatigued when you have arthritis is really pretty common. So you wanna make sure you take the time to rest. Also, you want to make sure you don't push or bounce any move. We'll try to go really slowly, but if we're going around and you want to get around as much as we do, don't force it if your body's saying this is your limit. Also, you want to eat well because when you have good nutrition in your body, it just feels so good and your body moves so much better. And always smile, really, really important, and do your best. Before we begin this program, let's meet Cookie. Hi, my name is Cookie. I come from uh, Nyack, and I've been in uh, Connecticut 13 years in Simsbury and have a ball. It's a whole different lifestyle, and I do play at the piano. I don't practice as much as I should, and I don't always read the music, but I get by, and I do enjoy it. And I play a little golf, and uh, I haven't played as much this year. And I enjoy Mary's exercise program. It's really my lifeline to keep uh, reasonably fit. I have a lot of things I need to learn to do, but so be it. And you like to read? You're in a reading Oh, I club. enjoy reading. Yeah, I'm in two reading classes. Yeah. So you like to do a lot of things. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. So we're very lucky to have Cookie with us today. Today we're gonna to be, as I said, standing. So you'll wanna look around the house and see if there's something sturdy you can hold on to. For us, it's gonna be the back of our very sturdy chairs. So if you have a very sturdy chair, that might be a really perfect thing. What might happen though, is if you have arthritis, holding on to something this small sometimes really hurts your hands. So if that's the case, you could get a glove or a pair of mittens, probably a glove, and, and hold on and that makes you feel um, that you're not squishing your hand too much or you could take a towel and put it over like this so when you're standing up you don't have too much tension on your hands. In addition to that you want to have one little paper plate that's all you need. We're going to be working with a paper plate because we're going to be working on a carpet but if you're working on a place that has a wooden floor or a tile floor, then you're going to need a cloth. So you're going to put your foot on your cloth and that way it won't scratch the wooden floor or the tile floor. So don't use a paper plate if you have a wooden or a tile floor. These are for carpeted areas and you'll still be able to move as easily as we do. 
because we're beginning our exercises warming up from the chair and we sit our buttocks right towards the edge of the chair our ears over our shoulder our shoulders over our hip right in front of our hips or our knees and directly under our knees are our good old feet so if this bothers your back you may want to take a little bit of a pillow and put it behind you so you can have your buttocks towards the edge of the chair. That's gonna really give you a greater range of motion. So you wanna make sure that you're nice and comfortable before we begin this. And know that with arthritis, sometimes before you move, uh, heat feels really good, so you may wanna take a warm shower first thing in the morning. Uh, for some people, especially with rheumatoid arthritis, sometimes something cool feels good. So because there's so many types of arthritis, we're just giving you some exercises that are generally good for most types of exercises. Because what we're gonna work on is increasing our range of motion, decreasing our stiff joints little by little, also, again, as I've said before, if you start to get tired, take a break, take a rest, because fatigue is important. When you have pain, you can get tired quickly. Also, sometimes people get a little, a little frustrated with arthritis because things that they always did, they can't do anymore. So if we work on exercises, maybe we can get our range of motion and less stiff so we can do some cool things. So, we are ready to go. Are you ready to go? Ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna take my paper plate and just put it on the floor right now. And I'm gonna start from the bottom and work up to the top. So we're gonna start just by lifting the toes a little bit and putting them down. Lifting the toes a little bit and putting them down. You'll notice when you lift your toes, you feel the muscles on the sides of the mm. shins. So we're gonna lift the toes, good job, and put them down. Lift the toes and put them down. So that's working the joint of the ankle. Now we're gonna pull our heels up. You're gonna feel the tightness right on the back of the lower leg, your calf, and flatten them. Lift the heel a little bit. And again, when we do any move, you start a little, and then when we do it again, your range can be a little more, good. Now we're going to lift the toes and then lift the heels. So we're gonna lift the toes right up and then we're gonna lift the heels right up. So we're really working that ankle. We're working the calf and the muscles beside the shin. Good work, lifting the toe and lifting the heel. Then we're gonna do something unusual. We're gonna roll out onto our baby toes and back to center. Out on those baby toes. So you're gonna feel a nice stretch on the outside of the foot and the ankle. Out on the baby toes, good job. Out on the baby toes. Now we're gonna bring our feet a little wider apart and we're gonna to try to roll the ankles in. Sitting nice and tall, try to roll those ankles in. So you're trying to see if you can take this ankle and bring it down towards the floor. You're gonna feel a nice stretch on the inside of the foot with this one. Can you feel that? Mm, I do. Great. I'm glad you joined us today. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to step in and we're going to bring our feet out and in, kind of like windshield wipers out and in. So we're working the ankle in a different direction. Good work. Very, very nice. Excellent. Excellent. Good. And then we're going to relax it down and we're going to go up on our toes and we're going to sweep the heels out and in. So only do what's comfortable for you. Always, always listening to your body. There you go. And then relax back down. I would say that this foot and this ankle are pretty well warmed up. How about I think so too. Okay, now we're going to work on the knees, the joint of the knees. So we're going to sit all the way back on this one and we're going to straighten the leg out and let it relax down. Now, yes, we're working the joint of the knee, but we're gonna feel it right here in our thigh. Our thigh is the muscle that's pulling that leg up, good. Now we're gonna pull the leg up and curl the toe in and try to use this muscle to pull the toe up higher, oh boy, and relax. But only do that if it's okay with your knee. Let's lift the leg, curl the toe in, and squeeze it a little higher. Good job, just one more time. Lift the leg, Curl the toe in and then squeeze it a little higher and relax. Good job. Let's go to the other leg. Sit nice and tall and make sure that your belly and your back are nice and secure on the good foundation of your chair. So all we do is lift the leg a little bit and relax it. Good. And in the beginning, you may not get your leg very high. You might just get it this high. That's okay. There you go. You might get it a little higher. That's okay. 
but you'll feel it in the knee, because that's the joint we're working with, and we're really gonna feel it in the muscle of the thigh. Good job. Very, very nice. Okay, now we're gonna bring that leg up, and we're gonna curl the toe in, and we're gonna use this muscle to bring it higher. Good job. That's a tough one. It is. <laughs> we're going to extend, so only do your best. Only do your best. Bring the toe in and use this muscle to pull that leg up. Good job. Thank heavens we're only doing three. Just one more. So we're gonna extend the leg the best to your ability. The fact that you're moving is fabulous. And relax down. Good. Now, another way to work on what they call patellar tracking, this is your kneecap, your patella, one thing that happens is we go up and down and that's pretty normal. But it feels different if you roll the heel in and the toe out. Belly to the back, nice tall posture, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna shoot the toe up at an angle and the heel comes back down. Shoot the toe up at an angle. Now you're gonna feel it on the inside of the knee a little bit. Mm. Good job. So our foot is flexed and we're pushing the toe up at an angle. Good work, so you feel it on the inside of the knee, a little on the inside of the thigh, and relax down. Woo, that's good. So now we're gonna go to the other foot. So we roll the foot out, make sure our back is nice and secure. We draw the belly in and we shoot the toe out and bring it back in. Good. And our leg is relaxed, so we are working the joint of the knee, but now we're working inside the knee. And if you say to yourself, you know, I just don't know if I'm doing it right, all you do is put your hands right where you should feel it, and you're gonna feel that. Can you feel where that, mm. the, yep, yes. you can feel where that knee is working. Good work. And relax it back down. Now we have to work the outside. So we pull the heel out, sit nice and tall, shoot the toe across the body, and the heel comes down. We pull the belly in, making sure we're nice and tall. Again, we are gonna work the thigh, but boy, oh boy, I'm feeling it outside and all the way up here. So only do what's comfortable for you. Can you feel this at all? I can. Great. And is it a great feeling? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Have to be. <laughs> and relax, good. Then the other foot, we sweep the heel out, make sure we're nice and secure in our chair. And up comes the toe, good. So the toe kind of shoots across the body, which means that we're working the outside of the knee, and you'll feel it all the way up the outside of the leg, all the way up to the hip sometimes, good. And we sit nice and tall, and we feel so good moving our legs, great job, and relax down, wow! Now, we've worked the knee pretty much, now we're gonna work the hips. So we have to slide forward, nice and tall, and all we're gonna do is bring our leg out a little bit and in, nice and easy. Out a little bit and in, take your time. Out a little bit and in, good. Out a little bit and in, one more time please. Out a little bit and in, good work. Now we'll go to the other side. Bring it out a little bit and in. Good work, out a little bit. So when you do any exercise, you just go a little, and then the more comfortable you are, you can bring it out a little more, increasing your range of motion, increasing how far you can reach out. Good work, last one, and done. Great job. Now we're gonna work the hips a little more by doing the Tootsie Roll. The Tootsie Roll <laughs> is where you rock on one hip, picking one hip up, and then rock over to the other. There you go. Rock on, everybody, rock on. <laughs> well, what we're doing is we're lifting that hip up by using the muscles on the sides of our back and the sides of our waist. And this is great because, you know, if you've gone to a play and you slide in and somebody says, excuse me, but you're sitting on my brochure, you can easily go like this, and their brochure is free as a bird, and then relax back down. Good. Now we're gonna work the back a little, hands on the thighs, leaning forward just a little bit, and back. Good work. So now we're working again. We're release, coming back, and forward, good. And we're coming back and forward on our hips, and now we're going to start to work the abdominals. So we pull the belly in as we come back, and lean forward, stretching our back. Pull the belly in, strengthening the stomach, leaning forward, stretching our back. There you go. Excellent, good work. 
Very, very nice. Leaning forward if you place your hands on your thighs. Your upper body weight can be assumed by the hands and the arms rather than the back. So we're just stretching out the back, but we're tightening the stomach all by itself. And we have to pull ourselves right back up. Good work. Now we're going to get a little twist working on the spine. So we're going to come over to this side of our leg and over to this. And all the time our spine is nice and straight. So we don't want to do any kind of twisting unless our spine is nice and straight. Good job. And we take our time and we move slowly. You may even want to move more slowly than this and that's okay. That's okay. Good job. Now we're going to see if we can bring the hand behind to touch the back of the chair. Good work. Good work. All the while, we're nice and tall and we feel terrific. Good job. And then we relax the waist. Okay, we're up to our shoulders. We pull our shoulders up and back and down. Good work. Up and back and down. Excellent. We pull the shoulders right up to the ears, shoot them on back, squeezing our shoulder blades together. And then we drop them down. Now we'll do one shoulder and then the other. One shoulder up, back and down, and then the other. Good work. I love this one. Don't you love this one? Mm, I do like it. I love this one. <laughs> In my next lifetime, if I'm ever a vamp, I'm going to remember <laughs> this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then we relax those shoulders. Okay, now we're going to work the elbows by bringing our elbows bent and our hands right up to our shoulders. So we're working our shoulders again, but we've added the elbows. We're bending the elbows and stretching them behind us. Good. Very nice, very nice. Now we're going to work just the wrist. So our hands are palms down. We lift the wrist. Good, 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 good. We're going to add the toes. Whoop. So we're gonna add the toes. So now it's, we're working the fingers. You don't have to add the toes. You just get extra credit if you add the toes. <laughs> so we're working the wrist, good. And then we hold our hands, thumbs up, finger points in, out and in, out and in, good. This is called the cupboard door. We open the cupboard door, close the cupboard door because I could not find what I hid in the cupboard. <laughs> there you go, good job. And you can add the feet if you want. You get extra credit for that, but you don't have to. And now you're gonna make a circle with the hands. There you go. Fingertips up and out and down. And then you go the other way. Good, good. Now we're gonna put our hands together and push the fingers over here. Push the fingers over here. Come back to center, sitting nice and tall. Try to push the heels of the hands down. Whoa, can you feel that? Mm. Mm. Then the fingers go forward. And we go side to side just a little bit. Our shoulders are relaxed and down. Very nice. Now we pull our hands in, drop them down, shoot them right down between our knees and pull the elbows high, stretching them in front. This hand pushes, pushes, pushes. This hand pushes, pushes, pushes. Come back to center and go right into a figure eight. Nice and easy. There you go. Good job. Now there's an extra little super duper figure eight you can do by taking one hand and putting it over the other. So now the back of this hand is going to push. And now the back of this hand is going to push. There you go. Good work. And now you're going to change. Bada boop. Underneath you go. Now this hand pushes. And now this hand pushes. There you go. So we're not going big range of motion. We're just doing a little pushing and pulling. There you go, and relax. That's kind of isometric strength training. Okay, now we're gonna work on our head, and then up we go. Nice and easy. You just tilt the head to the side a little bit, and then you gently drop the chin to the collarbone, bring the chin to the chest, and up you go. And then you turn your head to the other side, Drop your chin to your collarbone, chin to chest, and up. And then you tilt to the side. Chin to collarbone, chin to chest, and up. And then you turn, chin to collarbone, chin to chest, and up. Always moving slowly and making sure you move pain free. Okay, up we go. So we're gonna grab our plates and we're gonna stand right behind our chairs. There we go. Okay, 
So we're gonna take our plate and we're gonna put it right down on the floor because sometimes just when you move these legs, it really is a little bothersome. So we're gonna make sure we have a little bend in your base knee, holding on to your chair, or you could hold on to a countertop, you could hold on to the back of a couch, but it has to be something that doesn't move. And all we're gonna do in the beginning is just transfer the weight from one side to the other. Just transfer the weight, that's all you're doing. Good work, there you go. And now we're gonna roll up on our toes, and then lift the toes. Roll up on the toes and lift the toes. Good work. Roll up on the toes and lift the toes. And now I'm holding on, but Cookie isn't, so she's working for balance back there. <laughs> oh, but I she has her chair there. Too. Good, good. And then come back to center. Good work. So all we're going to do is stand nice and tall with our hips and our shoulders squarely facing the object that we're holding on to, a slight bend in our base knee, and we slide one leg out and in, just out and in, good. And so for some people, this will be good for you. This will be just great, good. Now we're gonna bring it in and we're gonna slide it back a little. And as we do, we lean forward from the hinge on the hip. So we have a beautiful straight line, ear, shoulder, hip, knee and ankle, good work. Slide it under your chair, good work. And slide it back, there you go. Slide it under the chair and slide it back. So you're working the joint of the hip. Make sure you lean forward a little bit as you come back so your body is always straight. Slight bend in the base knee. Good work. And relax. Okay, let's try the other leg. We're going to slide it out to the side. Stand nice and tall. Slight bend in our base knee. And we slide it out and in. Good work, out and in. Now you're gonna slide it straight out, but if your back hurts, you're gonna slide it out and forward a little bit. Either directly out to the side, but if your back hurts, bring it forward a little bit. Good work, that's it. And now you're done. So we're gonna slide it back, and as we do, we lean forward, ear, shoulder, hip, good. And bring it right under the chair and back. And under the chair. So we lean forward when we come back. We stand nice and tall. Lean forward. Good job. Stand nice and tall. Good job. Lean forward. Good work from the hinge on the hip. Belly is in. And for you, you might be only going a little. That's good. That's great. And then maybe you can do a little more. That's good. And then maybe you can do a little more, and maybe you didn't sleep well. So maybe the next day you only do a little. You always listen to your body. You always, always move. Your body loves to move. It does. Okay, and come back to center. Now you can push it right under your chair. Again, transfer the weight from one foot to the other. There you go. Good work. Very, very nice. Now you're gonna take this leg and make a tiny little circle. So all the weight's on this leg. Good, and then go in the other direction. Take your time, go as slow as you want. Good, 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 and relax. Very nice, nice and tall. Other leg, you make a tiny little circle. So this poor little leg is carrying all your weight. It's used to carrying just half. Now reverse and go in the other direction so you can really feel it right on this leg, even though you're working the other leg. And relax it down and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good, now we wanna kind of loosen up. So we're gonna take our chair, slight bend in the knees, and we're gonna push our buttocks back, just like there were a chair behind us. And then we're nice and tall, and we push the buttocks back. And if you can lift the toes, that's great. Nice and tall. Push the buttocks back just like you're sitting down. Good work, very nice. And you push your buttocks back just like there's a chair behind you. Always making sure that when you bend down, your knees are right over your shoelaces and they don't come forward towards the chair at all. One more time and only come down if it's good for you. Some people can come way down, but you have to be the judge of what's best for you. One more time, nice and tall. There you go. Push the buttocks back and lift the toes and drop the hips, staying nice and tall. Good work and relax. Wow, how was that? Good. Lovely. Excellent. Great. You did a great, great, great job. 
Okay, now we're gonna stretch out those muscles. So we bring one foot close to the chair and one foot back behind the chair. And we're gonna bend the front knee and bring the hips front. Now as we do, we're gonna stretch out the back of that leg. Remember when we were lifting the heels and that calf really got a workout? Now we wanna stretch it. If you can't feel it, you can step back a little more. Bend the front knee and bring the hips forward. And as you do, you're gonna feel a nice stretch on the back of that lower leg. Mm. Good. Great. And then we're gonna roll up on that back toe, pull the knee in and come down, 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 down. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Good, 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 good. And come back to center. Reach back with the other foot and bend the front knee, bringing the hips forward towards the chair. Good job, you're nice and tall. Again, if you can't feel it, step back a little further. Bend the knee and bring the hips towards the chair. Nice and tall, excellent, good work. And then right back to center. So we're gonna shake those legs out and we're gonna have a seat. He did a great job. So now we're gonna stretch out the back of the top of the leg. That would be our hamstring. So we sit with our buttocks towards the edge of the chair and put one leg out without snapping the knee down. Breathe in long spine. And as you exhale, you slowly fold forward. And that stretches out the back of the leg. And if you pull the toe up, you're gonna stretch out that calf too. One more stretch for that doggone calf. And then you're gonna come up Bring your hand the same side as the leg and bring it across the body, nice and tall. Turn and look and slowly come back to center. Good work. Extend the other leg without snapping the knee down. Belly and long spine. Hand on the leg to support the weight of the upper body. Slowly we lean forward. Ah, that feels so good. Doesn't that feel mm, good? Feels good. And if we curl the toe up, wowee, we get the calf as well as the back of the knee and the hamstring. And then we come up and take the same side arm of the extended leg, bring it around, and get a nice twist. Good work. Good work. Wow, you did great today. How are you feeling? Okay, let's roll those shoulders and shake all of our muscles out. We did so well today, so well. Great. Long, beautiful spine. Breathe out, ah, and slowly roll up. Take a great big breath in and imagine the sunshine coming up and warming you and making you feel terrific. Exhale and shake all your cares and worries out. And one more great big breath in. And as you exhale, know that all will be well. Good job, you did great today. Let's have a drink of water. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.